I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. You come into our sport think it's going to be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. If you ask me, I think he's going to do big things here. Look out. Superman punch! That shovel's an equalizer. Spear! Spear! This is going to be one for the ages. We are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just checking out the facility. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache, kind of sweaty. Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. Oh, no need to get anyone in trouble. He, uh, definitely checked my ID and even did a pat-down. Really thorough. So Todd's all right in my book. I feel very safe in his big, sweaty hands. Fine, whatever. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean, when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd! Turn it off, please.
You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Mm, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. Started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I've always been a huge fan of wrestling and wanted to try it. I just kind of got sidetracked with Hollywood for a bit. I can see how that relates to wrestling, but how'd you end up here? I want to be bigger than The Rock. He was a WWE champion and then became one of the biggest movie stars in the world. I'm going to do the same thing, but better, since I already have the entertainment experience. So you're here to be bigger than The Rock? Or because all your acting gigs dried up. I'm also here to beat up nobodies, like you. We'll see about that. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. That, that bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was too busy carving out a successful career in Hollywood. So you're some kind of actor slash reality TV star? Man, you guys are all the same. You come in our sport thinking it's going to be easy, but you're in for a real wake up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with, but I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to LA with a broken face. Maybe you can play a, an ER patient or something. You remind me of a lot of the guys in Hollywood. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to deal with me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. 
Yeah, in a wrestling ring, which you have very little experience in. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Are you a referee here or? <laughs> no, man. I'm training to be a wrestler. I know I'm a bit on the smaller side, but I'm actually crossing over from another line of work too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby, but I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. So that explains it. You're Lawler's charity case. It's not like that. I deserve to be here. You'll see. Sure. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was going to ask you to autograph something for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. Relax. I was just giving you a hard time. I'll do it. You might need to sell it after you get cut here. Seriously? I'm messing with you again. See you out there, Case. <laughs> messing with me again, right? What do you mean? You called me Case, but my name's Chase. Good one. Oh, yeah. Totally messing with you. That's me. Full of jokes.
I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you wanna face. Okay, let's get started.
before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not going to give 100% in a training match against a nobody. Cool. Is that what you're going to tell Triple H? Because he probably won an explanation for why the hottest free agent signing since AJ Styles just lost to a nobody. Triple H wasn't watching our match. The coaches just say that to scare you rookies. You think so? Because I'm pretty sure after I beat you, I looked up at the camera and saw it zooming in on me. Probably Triple H wondering who this rookie was who just showed him they're wasting a crap ton of money on an overhyped bust. Face me when it really counts, and we'll see what happens. Here's the thing. I think it already did, and we saw what happened. But I'm happy to give Triple H a replay anytime. Hey, rookie, you have a passport or no? Uh, yeah. Why? Turns out I have to go back to Japan to finish out one more match of my contract there. WWE thinks a Japanese opponent might try to injure me for leaving, so unfortunately, I have to face one of you guys. But whatever. At least it will be an easy win. So do you want to make the trip or no? Don't know how easy it will be for you, but I'll do it. When do we go? Not so fast. Obviously, this is a huge opportunity, so Hector and Chase won it in too. So you're gonna face them in a triple threat match for the right to lose to me in Japan. Good luck.
Thank <laughs> you. 